Hello, and happy Labor Day weekend, everyone. This is our latest update on Dash or Dash USD, and we're looking to see if we could get a fifth wave higher to complete at least a leading diagonal situation for Dash, but we haven't quite gotten that. Things are looking a little messy in Dash, more so than most of our other coins. We're going to touch not only on Dash, but several of the other more significant cryptocurrencies, stock market, and then we'll look at the big picture chart. As usual, these charts will be available in the description below, so check out the links down there. This is the one-hour linear chart on Dash, and green remains my primary. Although things are not looking too great in Dash, I am hopeful. When we look at our pattern that we had, we were expecting some kind of a fourth wave pullback with the fifth wave to finish, but things have become really messy. You can clearly see what we're calling an ABC first wave, Nice deep second wave. And then this became, well, this is quite a mess. Um, this peak here, this actually does get us high enough to be a legit third wave top. So I can actually uh, reinterpret this as the actual third wave top. The only point, only issue being that this could be an ABC. This doesn't look quite like an impulse, but we'll have to go with what we have. It is a corrective wave because all subways within a diagonal are corrective. So very choppy ABC, often non-standard and not easy to explain. Therefore, we very likely, well, we may be in a fourth wave right now with a higher high to come in a fifth wave. This actually aligns quite well with other asset classes such as the stock market, the SP 500, and a few of the other cryptos. The other alternate explanation, the other alternate bullish explanation is that this is action ABC up, but it's the ABC uh, forming a first wave of a larger leading diagonal. That is my primary interpretation in Bitcoin Cash, which is, uh, well, it's giving us very much that look, ABC up. I'm calling that a first wave. Again, three waves because it's part of a leading diagonal, a larger leading diagonal, and therefore the rate, the recent pullback is a second wave. That's I'm not drawing on the chart at the moment. Of course, the other standard expectation is that we're following red also sees this as an abc but a corrective bounce with potentially a lower low to come if we get a lower low it would be nominally lower i don't see us going too much lower we're going to look at down the big picture chart if you are looking for a buying opportunity you could buy here i wouldn't say to go all in maybe you could buy a tranche other coins are showing a bit more promise so we're going to go through those real quick starting with bitcoin this has your classic leading diagonal look, clearly five waves up. Although the fifth wave did not go as high as standard, I would have liked to have seen that get to 25,789. We didn't quite get there. And we're in a second wave pullback with a clear MACD divergence. You can see that divergence in which you are not as stretched despite the lower low here in Bitcoin. So I'm looking at this as a second wave and we need to turn around real soon. Other than getting precariously close to our support. This does look pretty pretty standard for uh, diagonal behavior. You expect a sharp drop and a sharp reversal. Ethereum has been my uh, my uh, poster child for bullish action because it actually got a uh, five-wave impulse structure. And here too, we see a, a, diverge, a, a, a divergence, not as nice as the Bitcoin divergence, but we are, uh, we've actually hit just past a 50% retrace. So pretty standard. Should be done with the second wave. I would like to see a sharp, powerful reversal. We may be consolidating since it is a long weekend. Sometimes see weird dynamics in the stock market where action will hold back until the weekend ends. So therefore, it may be affecting um, cryptos as well. A couple other coins that look um, at least somewhat more promising. EOS, after months of drudgery, is one of the more promising looking cryptos with a clear diagonal blow off to finish the fifth wave. and. Uh, Relatively shallow, but acceptably deep retrace for our second wave. And uh, I like to point out Polygon, which is our other very bullish looking crypto, which may have five waves in place. So you could certainly interpret it as that, or we're in the middle of a fourth wave consolidation with a higher high for the fifth. Regardless, we do have other bullish signs from other cryptos, if not Dash, where things look a bit more ambiguous. This is the ES Mini Futures, SP500. I keep referring to this in all my updates because as the S&P goes, does this, as does the stock market, so does cryptos or so do cryptos. They burn, they're following the same overarching sentiment. And here, since our low in the middle of June, we clearly have three waves up and a super deep fourth wave. And this fourth wave has overlapped the top of our first wave. So we have the makings of a standard looking 
textbook diagonal rally. So again, one, two, three, four, with the fifth wave to come. No guarantees, though. We are seeing all the bottoming signs. Again, classic divergence, overlap of the first wave. So we should see a very powerful reversal, which is what you expect, especially after a deep fourth wave in a diagonal. That is where we are. But again, the market does what the market wants. If, it, if this actually is set up for a lower low, we'll have to accept it. So be on your toes if you are more risk averse. Looking at our big picture chart on Dash, our divergence still looks fantastic. Although our rally didn't really stretch our MACD as much as uh, it did for other coins, such as Ethereum Classic, because, well, Ethereum Classic does crazy stuff because that's the name of the game for Ethereum Classic. Not so much in Dash so far, but we are holding and we have our support below. I mentioned that um, we have a major support at 3420. As long as we respect that support, we are following red. What is the red pattern calling for? It's a lot like Stellar Lumens, which I went over recently in which we, like with every other asset class, and crypto coin, we had a major third wave top end of December in early 2018. The subsequent correction is best interpreted as some kind of a fourth wave. In the case of Dash, March 2020 was our bottom. And therefore, assuming the entire pattern is, that's right, a leading diagonal or ending diagonal, however you want to interpret some kind of a diagonal, each of the legs of the rally are three wave patterns. So our final fifth wave motive wave should also take three wave form. And so far, it's abiding by that assumption. A, B, C, you could interpret this as impulse or a corrective wave. I think the corrective wave fits it better. Since then, we've had A, B, and an ending diagonal situation for our C wave of this larger B wave. So I know I went 100 miles an hour. Point being, this was our fourth wave bottom. A, B, looking at the circle notation, circle A, circle B. Circle C is left. So one final five wave impulse to give us our fifth wave top. Our, our orange alternate remains on the chart. And looking at this latest rally, it does look almost like a consolidation. So I cannot rule that out that we actually break below our red line at 3420. I wouldn't like that to happen. But if that does happen, it makes it all the more likely that this is the actual fourth wave bottom. However, because we are dealing with corrective waves and this is an A, B, C on my red chart, the B wave could, in theory, stretch well beyond the origin point of the original A wave without breaking it. Remember, this is not a one, two. I'm interpreting this as a, an A and a B. So therefore you could have a B wave expanded flat in which the B wave goes beyond our fourth wave bottom. And we could still have a snapback rebound for a C wave. So nothing is guaranteed. Again, this is one of the more sketchy looking cryptos, even though it has some of the more promising returns. High risk, high reward is the name of the game with this. I would like us to get in this green box right now. Well, we can't really project that high yet, so I'm not even going to try. Let's see if we can get somewhere near there, either in diagonal fashion or impulsive fashion. If you are looking to buy, your better chance to buy would be after completing some kind of fiber structure, at least somewhat close to this green box. And after a subsequent second wave dip, then, can, then you can go into it. Better yet, track what Ethereum is doing. Ethereum, Bitcoin, some of the other Bitcoins, 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 Bitcoins. If we get a higher high for a fifth wave to give us a bigger first wave and a subsequent correction, that may very well be your cue to buy Dash, but don't go too crazy. Diversify, don't die. There's too many great coins out there. I demonstrated what Ethereum Classic has been doing. That's a good example of something you may have missed out on if you don't have any. Contrast to the EOS, which sunk quite low at its low. So if you had too much EOS, that would have been painful. Although now it seems to have more potential up. And if you had something like Luna, well, you lost everything. So just remember, diversify. Don't get too attached to one coin. Eventually, we should see a top. We have somewhat of a deep, well, we had a decent diagonal ch trend channel here. Not so much anymore. Expect some kind of a top back half of 2023. Q3 or Q4 is my rough estimate. Should coincide with a major top for pretty much everything. Things could get devastating after that. But that's not what we're worried about at the moment. Let's see if we can have a rally materialize and dash subscribe so that you don't miss my future updates. And if you enjoy my video, don't forget to give me a like till next time. Thank you for watching and happy trading.